Wow, howdy folks and welcome back to Old Coffee and Tools. We've got a contest going on to give away a longer Ray 5 laser. If you want in on that, uh, check for details at episode 243, which was shot over a week ago. Our episode numbers are a little jumbled right now because we were releasing different things at different times because I tried to get like a week off. I'm back now, <laughs> yeah, live, sort of. <laughs> Within hours of when we finish these things up, we release them. Wow, got something really, oh my God, a CNC machine finally came in, yay. <laughs> CNC machines are really kind of cool, but probably pretty scary. Uh, a good one for the home might cost you $3,000 or something, and if you're not sure you need it or want it, it's like, yeah, that's a lot of money to tie up in a, you know, eh, one of those. So this one here kind of answers a lot of questions and a lot of problem situations. This is a bench top. It's only a few hundred dollars and it'll get you immersed, you know, in CNC projects and allow you to run with uh, wood, uh, aluminum, soft metals, uh, plastic. Do, is there anything, is there any other material? Oh, maybe an alien spacecraft or something material, you know, I don't know, found at Roswell. Let's get this party started. Let's get this box open so we can get into this thing. I hope there's nothing in there that's uh, wiring or something at the top where my knife can go through. Uh, from what I understand, there's a little bit of assembly required. I don't think there's much. Yeah, it looks like there's very little. Yeah, just a, I think there's a couple pieces here that have to go together, but other than that, that's, you know, it's ready to rock and roll, I hope. Okay, so there's not that much to assemble. There is a little bit. Uh, obviously, they shipped it in two pieces. And it's physically, like I said, it's a bench top model, so it's not huge but it does have all the basics of a CNC machine. So I've got it basically put together. I didn't put the rubber feet on it, and also uh, I didn't put these side panels or anything on. Just trying to get this thing up and running kind of thing for you guys. And the number one, the first thing is feature number one was, uh, it's a low price for really, I think for what you've got here. And it's a lot like a 3D printer. It has the Y, the X, the Z axis, and it's all marked, so the wiring is uh, almost a no-brainer. Now, there is a couple of extra wires because this thing can also run a laser head, which is an optional feature. You can put a laser in here instead, and I've got wiring already pre-wired for a laser if you want to run a laser here. So that's, you know, wow, it's pretty cool. Now, the next thing, of course, is the, it has a third feature, I guess we'll say, is this off-remote little control package here where I can start this up and I can run all of my accesses with the motors immediately and just check it all out, just make sure it's running. The machine has hard limits for the top, for the bottom, uh, for the side to side, in the forward and the back, it's all hard limits. So it can't, or at least it should not go past you know those limits. So it's gonna stay working within those limits. So that's, that's a cool feature. And I guess we'll call that feature number what, four? <laughs> and so we've got this far, so now we're gonna to get to the software and uh, let's see if we can't get, uh, let's just see what the next thing is. In this next part of the review, uh, I just wanted to show you how you can run this. And really it's, it, it kinda of like tests the system and make sure it's working. So let's get the power on. There we go, we're on. And we're gonna fire up the spindle and we'll travel across the lumber or do something here. <laughs> and there's the spindle on. And I'm going to travel, uh, let's go, no, let's go forward a little bit, and then I'm going to come across. Cool. Now, the other thing it's got is it has this uh, little dial here, so you could manually, you know, run it back and forth like this or something, I guess, if you wanted to. Uh, the, the, let's face it, the CNC is because we're going to run it from a computer, not off of this or, you know, manually like this or something. I'm just saying you could, but for a little machine, for the price, it will get you started in the CNC world. Hmm. A quick word about the emergency stop button here too. Uh, if you hit this, it'll stop the machine. And then if you turn it, it'll unlock again like that and that'll allow the machine to run and you can go right back to cutting so you don't lose anything if you have to suddenly stop for any particular reason. 
Another interesting fact is the uh, instruction manual here, which also has a complete layout of the uh, circuit board that's on there that controls the system, showing you where all the input ports are and everything on it. So that's that can be really handy too if you want to customize or get a little crazy. Apologize, I got the air conditioning running in the garage right now. <clears throat> it's a little hot in here today, but uh, the other thing it has is a TF card slot right here. So you can upload something on the TF card, put it in here, read the file off here, and go ahead and run it. Or you can tie it into your laptop or PC or Mac, apparently, computer or laptop, and run it off, run the G-code off of that. So you have two ways to operate the machine, plus I guess you could say the, the manual. Now when you hit these buttons, they only move, you know, like one millimeter per, per hit. So you'd be hitting the button a lot if you were trying to move something over. <laughs> Other features with this particular unit, uh, there's actually four of these hold down clamps that come with it. I've only used two in this case just to hold a piece of lumber in here. But there is four with the nuts and bolt hardware so you can clamp whatever it is into place before you start this uh, routering uh, business. Also this is a five millimeter uh, shaft according to the book. It, I guess it's five millimeter. I'm going to go with that what they say. But that means you'd have to have a metric uh, set of bits which there's uh, five of each of this type and five of the pointy head type uh, You know milling bits for this machine. So that should give you plenty. We haven't broke the first bit yet I'm surprised but <clears throat> I tried to but it, it just didn't happen it it actually cut the wood out of the way instead of actually breaking so Yes, and I've also got this cranked up to full speed. You can vary the speed So that's another good feature it's a small machine, small price, but it seems to have a lot of the basic features of what you want to really get into, you know, get your feet wet in the CNC world. Oh boy. <laughs> the other thing uh, I need to talk about a little bit here when you get this is it comes with a TF card with a USB adapter. And on this is software to show you how to assemble the machine. It takes about 15 minutes and it also has some files and some recommended software you can put in for like programming to write your own like CNC program kind of thing to run this machine. There is so much software out there for CNC machines that we're going to talk a little bit about that. But really today it's about the review of this. It's a, you know, we'll, we'll total up the features and also I guess we'll have to throw some cons out there if we can figure out, out what, what's bad news or whatever here. Because really, uh, for the price and everything, I'm like, well, you know what? It's as much machine as I would expect for that kind of money. But let's talk about the software. Whoa. I shut the AC off in the garage. I didn't want the sound on the microphone, but it's it's like, like that. It went to 90 degrees in here, and it's just going to go up. So got a little problem with the garage this year. Didn't seem to have it last year, but this year we are experiencing some serious heat and uh, humidity. Anyway. Overall conclusion is that uh, the features uh, for the price, yeah, you know, it's it's a winner. It definitely is a winner. I'm rather impressed with it for the price. That's the whole thing. Uh, it has all the functions, and also when it comes with this, uh, I think I should mention that it has PC and Mac on here. Uh, for some reason, the instruction booklet kind of leaned towards it was only PC, and so I went ahead and loaded this into a PC and took a look and noticed it was a Mac. Uh, file in there that was a DMG file. If you're an Apple guy, you'll know what I'm talking about. And it was like, wait a minute, this will run PC or Apple. So it was like, okay, let's put it on the Apple and have a look. I liked it better with the Apple, uh, like always. The Windows 10 uh, machines, like I have, uh, I've never been a Windows 10 guy. And trying to run the PC side of this thing, again, was just aggravating. The Apple stuff was a, little, was a lot easier to deal with for some reason. <laughs> always. And anyway, the, uh, the con. Well, you only have a five millimeter uh, cut at the highest speed. It it you know it takes a certain amount of time to cut through or do anything. It's not a real strong you know runner. Uh, it's not like you know a half horsepower screaming router or something. But it seems to do everything. There's a little bit of frustration with this. The controls feel kind of Mickey Mouse. Uh, very cheap build on this, and again because the price, this is acceptable you know because of what it is. So I, I'm okay with it you know. The uh, PC, the printer cable thing to the laptop or whatever, that's great. I, I don't have a problem with it. You should be in a more comfortable garage than 90 degrees right now to do that. But there's so much software out there, and that's really where I want to stop because 
you could like uh, myself use uh, Fusion 360. I also have Light Burn, and if you put uh, open uh, what is it? open build in your computer, it it will translate it to CNC programming for G code. So you can take something out of Light Burn, put it into open build, and then you could create something, a sculpture, a cutting, you know, a carving, whatever, and you could do that. So there's like lots of flexibility to the software. There's there's tons of software out there. And there's no point in me sitting here and explaining the software situation to you because it's not about, it's about the machine. The software, that's another story. Now, on that same line, this company doesn't put out, say, its own in-house software as far as uh, something like a Fusion 360 or a FreeCAD or something like that. It does have a software package in there where you can actually code right in what you want the CNC machine to do, but that's going to take some time to learn and it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a learning curve thing and it's manual. It's like you are the code writer for the G-code and so that can get a little bit hairy too for some, especially if you're not into this sort of thing and you're trying to dip into it like, eh, you know, it, it could be a problem. Hey, I want to thank everybody for watching Coffee and Tools today and uh, please like, share, and subscribe <laughs> as always. And man, I am, I'm just, I feel like I'm just melting. Got some great stuff coming up this week. We got Thursday. We've got a big draw for that uh, longer Ray 5 laser machine. So y'all need to, uh, you know, get in on that draw. Uh, the instructions are over there. It uh, was episode 243 from, uh, I guess that was two weeks ago because it was uh, two, two Thursdays, one Thursday ago, whatever. But uh, this Thursday we're drawing. So after two weeks of uh, sitting on the line there, open waiting. We should have lots of entrants, uh, but we'll see. If your name is Greg, uh, you'll probably be the, no. <laughs> that's, a, that's an inside joke for only people that used to watch the show before, because we had three Gregs in a row win back to back, and I, I still don't understand how that happened. But Oh, I've also got coffee in today from uh, someone, and I just want to thank them personally for the coffee. You didn't have to do that, but hey, it's appreciated. I put the coffee with my coffee collection. One of these days, we're going to have to sit down and look at all the collection of coffee that I have. I have some pretty cool stuff here, and uh, some of it's uh, unfortunately not here anymore because I drank it. You know, that's, that's the way that works, too. <laughs> In the meantime, uh, man, I got to get out of here. It's hot. <laughs> Over and out. <laughs>